it's that time of year again and when I say time of year I mean it is minus 391 outside which means that we all need a new winter jacket look at this at this point I might as well be ASOS's new depot ASOS parcels from Gabrielle's house come and get your ASOS parcels because really oh my okay so up first i was drawn towards this amazing gorgeous brown chocolate coat i've put it on and it's so much thicker and cozy than i actually ever imagined look at the sleeve here do you know when you can like tuck your hands in to the sleeves that's my dream type of coat because listen sometimes we forget our gloves and this is just the most amazing thing ever the puff on it is honestly so incredible so let's find out if there's a zip there's no zip this is a popped up coat which actually isn't my preference i would rather a zip just so i'm all zzz, zzz fully contained just so I'm all concealed and no wind can get in. Let me just pop it up so we can get the full effect. So here we are, we are all popped in and I absolutely love this so much. So obviously it is a maxi style, it is long line, the brand is Collusion. It was £60 which honestly to me I would pay £60 in a heartbeat just because this quality is absolutely insane i feel so snug i've only got a knitted dress underneath i haven't got anything under the knitted dress and i'm sweating i mean obviously i'm inside <laughs> and it's not quite the minus temperatures outside that it is inside but i just absolutely love it one thing that's two not 100 percent sure whether i'm going to keep it is because it doesn't have a hood now listen, I am someone that is lazy. I don't carry an umbrella around with me. I'm not prepared. And I do often dash like door to door. I'm just, I'm just a little bit crazy in that sense. <laughs> I don't know what my life has come to when <laughs> me dashing from the car to the post office without an umbrella is crazy. The good thing is that I enjoy my own company, right? My second coat of choice has of course got to be fur. I absolutely love fur, whether it's before Christmas because it's really festive and glam and gorge, or after Christmas because, let's be honest, they're really practical and you still look absolutely stunning at the same time. So this coat here is from a brand called Vila. I've never heard of this brand before. Let me know if you guys have down below. But I am obsessed. So my favourite feature of this coat has of course got to be this double-breasted moment. Let me just come a little bit nearer so you can see it has absolutely huge lapels which i adore and then the pockets they are so deep i don't think i'd wear a bag i don't think so because my stuff would be so secure down here all i need is a phone a wallet some keys and i'm sorted the issue with these big thick fur coats is that it's really hard to wear a bag because i do a crossbody moment i'm feeling oh bulky and i've basically got an envelope on my whole body or i do a shoulder moment and the bag's falling off my shoulder because it's just too thick up here so i think i would just go bag free and i'd probably wear this coat unbuttoned to be honest with you i just think it's a little bit more effective a little bit more stunning but the quality of this is unbelievable it's so thick the fur it looks expensive it feels expensive i will say it was expensive <laughs> it was 95 pounds which hmm would i pay that for if i had 10 coats in my wardrobe i don't i have about three to four i would pay this because each year i'm you know adding in a more of a nice to have coat nice to have luxury item but where i'm still in the three to four phase i'm having to go with cheap i don't know it depends what your budget is i really do like it the quality is insane i think it does reflect 95 pounds but for me i don't know I don't know, I don't know. Back onto puffer and we've actually got a puffer with a twist. Now, when I took this out of the bag and hung it up, I was infatuated. I thought I'm absolutely going to love this coat, but actually I really don't like it at all. So it's from Collusion. I really love the concept. I love the design. It's just for me, it's way too bulky and cropped. It feels like an in-between awkward phase, like. <laughs> The colour of the puffer itself is this amazing charcoal-y grey black. It's not quite black. I absolutely love the colour of it. And then obviously the fur trim is just incredible. The most amazing kind of, let me come a little bit nearer, chocolatey beige, which I just think is so luxe. Inside is fur all fur because this coat is reversible which is probably what sold it to me it turns into the opposite jacket really nicely i don't know how i'd feel about having puffer on the inside though I'm not sure my skin looks like that no like it feels really 
Ew, it feels really, really cold. I absolutely love the fur version. This fur version is what they should be advertising because I think this is stunning. You would honestly have no idea that this is a reversible jacket. Bam, bam, bam. Sorry if you could hear Alexa downstairs. I do really like how it's got a little collar moment here as well. Look, we could just flick that up, nice and bougie. <laughs> I mean, I look like a polar bear. Up next, we have this utility style jacket. And honestly, it has loads and loads of different features to it. It's from Misguided. And I'm quite surprised that I picked this actually, just because it is so busy. It's not very me, but I think that's the point. I'm trying to try new styles and try things that I wouldn't typically go for because I'm trying to build a variation in my coat wardrobe. So this is the jacket. We we have a high neck here which I do really like we've got the utility pockets at the front we have got a Borg material at the top half of the jacket and then all down the sleeve there and then it goes into this kind of puffer scratchy material here it's got a zip which listen that's important to me so let's zip us up and then it's also got an elasticated waist as well ow my hair I have never had a coat like this before I don't think I'd like the ties let's find out actually i put this on it's actually looking quite cute what do you think i actually like this a lot more zipped and tied i really like how this cinches you in it gives you a little bit of shape it helps make you look a little bit more feminine whereas like this one here it was just like Doof. i mean this one here actually is also unisex as well i don't know where i would wear this though obviously it doesn't go with this charcoal dress either i'd have to wear a kind of neutral beigey white moment underneath but what do you think maybe for maybe for skiing maybe this is what people wear skiing <gasps> Okay, I take it back. I take it back when I'm saying I wasn't unsure about it. I would 100% wear this on the ski slope. I've not been to the ski slopes once in my life, but it's on my list. Quality-wise, I wouldn't run some rave about it. Obviously, this bit's puffer, so this bit's going to keep you warm. It's just these sleeves because it's Borg on the outside. Um, or boucle? Borg? Boucle? Obviously, it's going to be a cheap version of it. So inside, we've just got a kind of polyester. Let me just show you a polyester finish to it so there's nothing on the inside that's going to keep you warm on the sleeves but because we're protected we might be all right the last coat i picked up is of course another classic you can't go wrong with a puffer this coat is from threadbare and i really love it i absolutely adore the color of it it's the most amazing khaki color really gorgeous wintery really really fabulous quality wise i'm not 100 sure it's 65 pounds i just think it could be a lot thicker compared to this one here maybe i'm just comparing too much this is unbelievably thick this could be a duvet it's that thick and that's what i kind of go for when it does come to my winter coat but this is just resembling paper thin to me just a little bit and also i would definitely need to size up in this i got this in a 10 and there is just no give like if i needed to tuck myself in that doesn't work for me it just no so definitely a 12 is needed because if i needed to put on a hoodie under this if i needed to layer up no i would be suffocating i'd be suffocating good news is that we do have a hood this coat also has a zip as well as poppers as well which means that when i do get a larger size i could snuggle myself in here and feel really protected and warm that brings me to the end of this coat haul i really don't know what my choice for the season is going to be i'm veering towards this one despite it not having a zip on it i just think it is so gorgeous although i do have a similar chocolate brown puffer but with more of a waxy texture to it so it's a little bit more shiny so probably too similar to what i already have perhaps this but again price point this was a no this surprised me but i don't have a skiing holiday booked and i won't in the next year so that's going to be a no and then this one here was a little bit too thin i don't know is it me am i the problem <laughs> 